What's up everyone? I've had some questions about my cryptocurrency mining operation in this uh, hydroponics tent. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video so, you'll, so you all can kind of see uh, how it's set up. Um, so this is the tent. Um, it's about six and a half by three by three feet. Uh, those are the dimensions. It has two intake uh, outlets. Um, both of those are six inches. And then up on top, there's one exhaust. Um, outtake, which is uh, an 8 inch tube, a diameter. Um, and then on top of that, there's also some flaps down there in the corner, which I don't know if you can see if it's too dark, uh, that you can actually open up and it allows um, air to be pulled from inside uh, your room as well if you don't want um, just the air coming in from, from outside of, of your apartment or, or house. So let me go ahead and I'll get a little bit closer. Um, so this is that uh, one of the intake. Um, pipes here and you can see it's you know pretty big uh, six inch diameter and you can see it over there uh, just pulls in through the window and I have it um, a piece of wood there to you know stop air and everything else from coming in um, that's the other intake over there which goes in on the opposite side of the tent uh, this is that vent flap down here um, it's just a screen mesh uh, which you can open up and this will pull air from, from inside your, your house or wherever the tent is. Um, if, if you wanna maybe mix, mix the air ratio, um, you know, I might leave this open just because it'll pull in the cool air from the rest of my house, uh, since you know, the air conditioner's on, and keep my room a little bit cool, because even if everything's in this tent, it does give off you know a little bit of heat. Um, there's a front window on here, which is pretty nice. I can look in and, and see how everything's doing. If you notice, it's pretty bowed in, um, and that's because the exhaust fan I have in there is pretty uh, powerful, um, which I guess is, is, a, is a good sign because it means it's moving a whole lot of air. This is the exhaust tube over here. So like I said, it's eight inch diameter, so it's pretty big. Same setup applies, just a piece of wood. Um, and if you put your hand on it, you can actually feel it's pretty warm. Um, so it's you know definitely pumping that hot air out. And it goes behind here. This is the other intake um, tube here, which goes around down behind and then connects into that window. Uh, it's just a power cord for that fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Uh, it's probably gonna be pretty loud, so I'll try to talk a little bit louder. So this is the inside. So we have up top, that's the exhaust fan. Um, I'm planning on turning it on its side this way and then connecting another 8 inch tube. Um, somebody on Reddit said that if you do that, uh, it'll decrease a lot of the sound because right now, you know, the, the fan blades are exposed, so that increases the sound supposedly. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to turn it on its side and then snake a tube around and maybe tie it up onto this pole here um, so that it's still pulling air from, you know, the top where it's the hottest, but it hopefully will give me a little bit of noise reduction. Um, I have up here is a 7 inch LCD screen, um, the one it's connected to right now uh, is in um, the, the screen savers on so you're not going to, there's not going to see anything on the screen, um, but you know I you can just pull the, uh, I don't even know which one it's plugged into right now, down there, I can just pull the HDMI cord and hook it into whatever ones and then you know see the status if I want to. Um, over there is just a network switch um, and then these are those two intake um, tubes here and you can see they, they're designed so that you know it goes all the way down there so that the cool air gets sucked in from the bottom and then obviously as it gets warmer it rises up and then gets pulled out of the behemoth of an exhaust fan. Um, so the first rig up here uh, this is six RX 570s kind of a mishmash of different cards um, and then two 750 watt power supplies that one's running around 175 mega hashes, I believe, uh, Ethereum. These are all mining Ethereum, by the way. Um, down here, this is supposed to be um, six RX 580s, but unfortunately one of the risers um, became faulty, one of the capacitors was loose. So I'm waiting on a new riser to come in. So right now it's only five, but I have the sixth card. Um, and then down here, that's um, six GTX 1060s, um, just, you know, standard overclock. Um, oh, these, these both have 1,000 watt power supplies here. 
I'm probably overkill for the 1060, but I can always put in some more if I need to. And then on top of that, I have my desktop PC down here. Um, this has two 580s inside, and then two old 480s, a little dark, kind of hard to see. Let me grab a flashlight real quick. Yeah, that's a little better. Uh, the two uh, 480s down there, um, and they're tied together on a post so they don't tip over. And that's the, the desktop PC, as you can see. Um, and then I actually have um, a, a USB extension and a long display port cable that runs out the back and then um, connects to my monitor. So I can still, you know, use my computer as normal. It's just inside here to keep it cool. Um, let me go ahead and zip this back up so it's a little bit more quiet. So that's, that's pretty much the setup. Um, safety is obviously pretty important, when, especially, you know, when you're in a small enclosed area like this. Um, you know, obviously don't use the SATA risers. Um, everything, all of those, everything you saw in there was either a PCI Express or Molex. Um, make sure you know you only put two Molex risers maximum per Molex cable. Um, and on top of that, uh, the exhaust fan runs on the same exact breaker as the network switch. So in the event that that breaker flips, um, it kills the you know the network connection to all the miners so that they're not producing nearly as much heat. You know, it still will be a little bit warm in there um, because you know they're sitting there idle, but not you know nearly as much heat. Um, and then on top of that, you know, uh, I have remote monitoring on my phone. Um, I'm able to log in to all the rigs with TeamViewer if I need to shut them down. Um, and then a third layer, probably a little too many layers, but third layer is everything's on Wi-Fi smart switches. So if one of the rigs becomes, you know, unresponsive or something, I can kill the power remotely, um, you know, from my phone if I need to. And then even on top of that, um, everything runs Claymore uh, version 11.0. So uh, everything has temperature stop values enabled. So if, you know, that fan dies or, or turns off, and for whatever reason uh, I don't notice while I'm monitoring on my phone, uh, the Claymore automatically kills the mining threads once the GPU, for me, I have it set, I believe, to 79, um, which is a little bit on the uh, more, you know, conservative, safe side. So it'll automatically kill that GPU. Um, and that's, you know, just in the event that the fan dies or the power is cut to the fan, um, and you know all the GPUs turn off and, and go into their their lower power state, and um, I, I have I have turned the fan off, um, and, and you know, um, you know, recorded kind of what has happened uh, internally, and, and everything seems to execute well. It does get pretty warm in there, um, but not to the point where you know the tent's going to melt or something like that. Everything everything turns off on its own um, relatively safely. So, you know, like I said, safety is always important. Um, but other than that, I believe that's pretty much it in regards to, um, you know, how it works and, and, and what's inside it and all that. But if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to shoot me uh, a message and I'll see what I can do. Thanks.